All right. The next area of evaluation is the temple. It's my favorite area because it's a very complex anatomy. There are several different layers. So the way I like to evaluate the temple is not quite horizontal and not quite vertical. It's sort of in an oblique fashion. So it's paralleling the orbital rim. And I like to do it this way. Remember when you hold the ultrasound, make sure that part of your hand is actually touching the patient. It allows you to make fine movements. So let's go through the anatomy here. So the very deepest aspect is your bone. That's down here. The next layer is going to be your temporalis. Keep in mind that there is no periosteum on the temple bone. So here is your muscle. This is the temporalis. The next layer is going to be your deep layer of your deep temporal fascia. That's right there. So the deep temporal fascia actually is one layer that splits into two layers. It splits into a superficial layer of the deep temporal fascia and a deep layer of the deep temporal fascia. And in between those layers, there's a couple names for this fat pad. I like to call it the intermediate temporal fat pad, but it's also called the superficial temporal fat pad. And that's right here. So, and then this layer here is going to be your superficial layer of your deep temporal fascia, which is right there. Now, you see a little black area just above that fascia. That's called the interfascial plane. And that's right here. And then superficial to that is going to be your superficial temporal fascia or your temporal parietal fascia or your SMAS layer. So that's right here. And then superficial to that is going to be subcutaneous tissue, subcutaneous fat, and skin. Right here and then skin's above here. So let's see the T mode in this area. And let's see how accurate I was. So here we go. So let's look at the T mode um, images. So you, deeply you see the bone, then you see the muscle, then you see the fascial layer, then you see the fat. Then you see a superficial layer of the deep temporal fascia. And then you see a purple layer, which is the interfascial plane. So the TMO is really good to help you navigate the anatomy of the temple. So let's look at the vascular structures of the temple. Let's go back into your B mode here. And then power Doppler. And so there's basically superficial vessels and deep vessels. So let's look at the superficial vessels. So this, the anterior branch of the superficial temporal artery is usually in the inferior temporal septum. And the inferior temporal septum runs from the superior orbital rim to the root of the helix. So it's not always, but usually in a line like this. So therefore, I like to place it somewhere in that area. Oh, well, what do you find? Doing, doing this search, I came across that deep temporal artery. So here we go. So that's the deep temporal artery right there. So the deep temporal artery, this is the anterior branch. There's two branches. There's an anterior and a posterior. The anterior branch is going to be right near the orbital rim. It runs along the temporal bone. And that's actually at risk when you're doing those deep injections. So I highly recommend doing vascular mapping before you do the deep injections in the temple to look for this deep temporal artery. And in this patient, it was very close to the injection point that you like to use for this one up, one over technique in that deep area. So while I was doing this examination, the patient did remind me that she had surgery because she had a pseudoaneurysm of her superficial temporal artery from a trauma case. So I'm not going to find that superficial temporal artery on this side. So we can take a look at this side.
So interesting, I was able to get both of the arteries in one screen. And let me show you that. So, right here. So this is the deep temporal artery, anterior branch right here. And this is the superficial temporal artery, more superficially. That superficial temporal artery lies in the SNADS layer or the temporal parietal fascia or the superficial temporal fascia. Those are all the same. So we found all the necessary vascular structures of the temple, that deep temporal artery and that superficial temporal artery. That concludes the evaluation of the temple.